everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome for the first time. My name is Tina, also known as Resell Royalty 74. And I resell clothing as a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Etsy, and also sometimes on ThreadUp. Um, today, I have a really unique situation. I have a Stitch Fix unboxing to share with you. So me and Stitch Fix, we have a history. A long time ago, a little over about a year and a half ago, I used to receive Stitch Fix boxes and I loved them, love them so much. Um, and the problem is the items can get really pricey in their boxes and I loved everything they sent, like everything. They would even send jewelry. And I was like, oh my gosh, how could I possibly send this jewelry back? You know, it's so cute. So it got to be expensive. And I still have, still wear some of the items I purchased from past boxes. I absolutely love these outfits. So it's hard to like get an item and send it back. That's the problem. They know you're gonna love it. So you're gonna buy it. Um, so I stopped the, my subscription about a year ago. It made me miss getting my Stitch Fix boxes and the great items in them. And it's been a year, so I kind of wanted to see, are they switching brands? Are they offering new brands and what they were selling before? I just kind of see what they came, I want to know what they would come up with. So giving it a try, I'm trying to keep a leash on myself as far as how much I purchase. Uh, if you saw one of my previous videos and you would have seen the thread up goodie box unboxing and I'll link that up here so you can click on that and check that out if you haven't seen it because I'm going to compare the two boxes at the end of this video. So um, they, I ordered both boxes within three days of each, each other and they arrived the same day. I thought that was kind of funny. So I'm doing back to backs unboxings and I'm also going to do a try on so you can let me know which items you think look the best and which items you think I should have purchased and then I'll let you know what I did purchase because I always buy something. Now let's talk about one thing. The reason I think subscription boxes and things like this are so necessary is for anybody but especially for us resellers. If you're anything like me and from what I've heard and seen from other people on social media and on YouTube you are and the fact that we are workaholics, we work hard. If you're a reseller and you're, you have any amount of success, I know you're busting your butt. I know you are working hard on it, especially if you're a part-time reseller and your full-time job is a mom, okay? That takes a lot of time to balance both. Or your full-time job is a full-time job outside of the home or, or in the home. That's hard to juggle a job in your own personal online business where you are the employee, there is no other employee, okay? And family, I have a husband and a 14 year old daughter and I'm a dog mom, can't forget my little chihuahua, Sophie. Um, but it's hard, it's really tough. And I work every single day on my online business. My nine to five job is just Monday through Friday, thankfully. But the other one on the weekend, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and I start grinding, I start grinding. So. Here's the thing, we need to find a way to treat ourselves, some kind of self-care. And for me, it has always been for the last two years, I get a FabFitFun subscription box, which I absolutely love and will never give up. Um, there, I get to handpick some items for myself. And if there's anything in there I don't want, I resell it online and it sells so quick, it's no big deal, it almost pays for half my box. Um, I have one coming up, I think I should be getting one in March. I will do an unboxing of that one too if you guys want to see it. Um, I'll show you what I get in my FabFitFun box and um, that way you have an idea of how much it costs and what's inside of it. But I decided to try out the goodie box in the um, Stitch Fix box because I wanted a way to kind of treat myself because I said, oh, if I start the Stitch Fix again, I'm going to go spending all that money on clothes when I can just pick things up at Goodwill that I like for super cheap, right? We all do that. I definitely do that. Uh, but I said, you know, if I, if I want to get myself something on Stitch Fix, why not? I work hard. I make this extra money in my business. I should be able to buy myself one or two things here and there if I really like them. So I'm treating myself and seeing what I want in these boxes, having someone style me, because God knows I'm not a fashionista. Like, uh, please help me. I'm good with that. I love to see the new looks that they come out with. So that's why I decided to try Stitch Fix. So hang out let's see what we have they send you a receipt like an invoice little shipping document um and there are five items so they send you five items you choose what you want it's a 20 dollars fee 
to start this. So the $20 that you spent will go towards whatever you purchase. Um, and then I will tell you one thing, if you buy everything in the box, you get a 25% discount. So the total for my entire box was $233 for five items, all brand new with tags, of course. Um, so I would actually only have to pay $174.75 if I kept everything, which I'm so picky about clothes. I, I would be shocked if like I literally needed to keep everything in a box. There's usually like at least one thing I'm like, eh, no. So then I would get my styling fee back the $20. So it would actually cost me $154.75 to keep the entire box with the five items. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. But like I said, I'm not trying to spend that much money. I'm only going to get like the things that I absolutely have to have that I really like. So we'll see what happens. Now, another thing I want to share is that when I got the box, I knew I just received the goodie box from Thread Up 2. I needed more time to try the things on. I knew I wanted to record this. So I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to get it all tried on, pick what I want, send feedback and mail the box back in seven days. So I went on my account online. And I was able to say, hey, give me a little longer. I was able to extend it by two more weeks before I had to return the box. I think that's really cool that Stitch Fix does that. I did not see that option with the goodie box. It was seven days, send it back, or it's yours, you're buying it. <laughs> um, the Stitch Fix box, they give you extra time if you need it to try on your items or make a decision. So I really do like that. I am gonna try things on today though and kind of make my decision and send back what I don't want. But let's get into it. Let's, I'm going to show you in, from the box what I have, and then I'll try them on, and then we'll talk later about the items I tried on. Okay. Everything's so nice and neatly folded. Wow. Okay. The first item is a sweater, and I didn't have the option when I did the, um, the fashion edit, like where you say, this is what I like, this is what I prefer, et cetera. There really wasn't an option to say, I really want spring summertime clothes. Don't send me sweaters. Cause right now I have so many sweaters. Like I don't want any more. I can tell you that right off the top. I live in Arizona near the border of Mexico. So it gets pretty warm here early. So by March, it'll be starting to get warmer. I probably won't be able to wear my sweaters by April, May, somewhere around there. So I'm not really looking to buy any more sweaters right now because I won't be able to wear much longer. Um, thinner sweaters I can get away with. And this one feels pretty lightweight and so soft. It's, it's almost like silky soft. Let me show you. This is the sweater. It's like a beige color. Pink Clover is the name of the brand, in case you can't see it. Sometimes the white, the light washes things out. So, and again, I went with extra large everything, just size extra large. And that's what they sent me, it says, so we'll see. Uh, so this is called the Nicole Textured Pullover Sweater by Pink Clover. Um, and the price of this is $44 if I keep it. So... Oh, my microphone's getting caught up on the tag there. Here we go. So yeah, it's so, I can't get over the, the texture of this. It's like silk, like spun silk. I have to see what this is made of. It's driving me nuts. I mean, this is so soft. Wow. That's one thing I can say about their brands. The material, the quality is, is there. Uh, just as 100% polyester, but boy, is that soft. So I will try it on. It's a lightweight sweater. So I definitely, it's a pullover, I like that. What I don't like about it is it's just plain beige. So I have to dress it up with something. I'm not a scarf person, that's just, I went through that trend a while ago, I'm over it. Um, I would wear like a chain or some type of necklace or bauble with it um, to kind of dress it up a little bit, but I prefer to already have the color and the flair in the outfit. So I can say that is a strike against it, just the plain block color. In fact, when I'm looking at my box, I don't see a whole lot of color. And I'm, I always put, I love color. Like I want color in my, my clothing. So we'll see. I know that Stitch Fix is really good about listening to what you say. They're stylists. The more feedback you give them, they listen and they tailor your next box accordingly. So here's the next thing. Now, this is also a sweater, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. Or a pullover of some sort. It's sweater material. It's a light gray with white striping. It's like a heather gray. Uh, it's by Market and Spruce. Heard of that brand before. It says Corinna Brushed Dolman Knit Top. 
So it's not necessarily a sweater, it's a knit top and it's again, silky soft, oh my gosh. I do like these sleeves, this three quarter sleeve like that. That's cute. I like that design where it changes the, the striping. That's a little quirky and neat. I like that it's not a cropped sweater. I'm not a big fan of cropped sweaters. So I will definitely go in with an open mind on that one. I am one of the weird people that love the color gray. I have a lot of gray in my closet. Again, that's why I always ask for color because I have a lot of gray. I tend to go towards it. I love the color gray, but this does have the striping. So that, you know, oh, and I just saw, okay. Hmm. I thought I saw something, okay. Never mind. I'm crazy. All right, so we'll give that one a try. And then this is a cardigan. Not huge on cardigans. I used to wear them a lot when they first started trending, like maybe five or six years ago. I always, I had a ton of different colors of cardigans. I do wear blazers sometimes for work, but cardigans not, and I know it's trending right now, but I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not a layer person, I guess these days. But here's the cardigan. I like that it's like a brushed, another soft knit. Um, it's like a heather gray material, almost like a black. I'd say it's charcoal actually. So it's an open, is it open knit? Yeah, open, no, yeah, open knit cardigan, doesn't button up. It's nice, okay. So, so the price for the cardigan is, where is it? Hall's brushed knit two pocket cardigan, dark gray, $46. And the, I didn't tell you the brand, it says Market and Spruce, this is so bizarre. It says market and spruce, but on the paperwork, it says paper moon. So I don't know, because on the tag, it also says market and spruce. I don't know what happened there. I don't even know. But um, I know that that's not likely that I'll keep a card again, because again, warm weather, I really do not like to layer. It's already warm enough. Uh, here's a top that is not knitted, so that's great. Yay. And this is by Lush. Most of the tops I kept from Stitch Fix were Lush branded blouses. So this is a good sign. <laughs> so here we go. You have this dark blue. It looks like it might even be some kind of animal print. It is, yeah, it's kind of like a cheetah leopard print. I never know which animal it is. But anyway, you got your three quarter, your little adjustable sleeves there. You got your uh, pop over in the front with the V-neck. I like that. I'm pretty sure the other Lush blouse I have is almost the same. It's just a different different uh, graphic, but the same um, same shirt design. So yeah, I do like that. I like that it. I like the color. I don't think I have a blue that color. It's almost like a colonial blue, like a gray blue. So that's really nice. Um, I would be tempted to keep this one. I can tell you that without trying it on. And the price for this is $44. It's a worn split neck blouse. So I like that. And then we have a pair of jeans. Y'all know I don't wear regular jeans. <laughs> I have told people over and over again, if you're gonna send me jeans, they have to be the elastic waist. I cannot do, so the history on that is I've had hernia surgery about Oh gosh, it's 2014, so six to seven years ago. And um, I have scar tissue near my belly button where they went in for the surgery and it presses against a nerve there. So when I wear jeans that have this, the button, it will hit that nerve and it's the worst feeling ever. So it's so uncomfortable. So I wear a lot of leggings, you know, leisure type comfort clothes. I wear dress slacks for work that don't have the button there. So that's not a problem. So I used to love jeans, but I really just don't wear them anymore for that, that reason. I just, it's too uncomfortable. So I know I did say that to Stitch Fix, so I will have to go over that again. <laughs> but these are um, a good brand or STS Blue. Y'all, I'm sure y'all have heard of STS. Um, and it says, says size 32. Um, Ellie ankle skinny 10 inch high rise um, on my, yeah. So on my invoice, it says it's size 14. So I don't know, we'll see. But these are them, skinny high rise jeans. I like that they're high rise. I like the medium wash. That's absolutely fine with me. It's your pocket in the back. 
Um, so I'll see, I'll try to try them on. If they don't bother my nerve, I'll wear them. <laughs> um, we will see what happens. So if I'm not wearing them, if I'm wearing something else, you know why, okay? Um, so anywho, that's what I received. Those are the five items. Now these STS jeans retail for $59. So that's kind of pricey. Um, but again, they're a name brand jeans, so not surprised. So overall, the pricing is typical for Stitch Fix. Um, I don't think I've ever received anything from them that was under $40 in a box. And I did put down, I want the cheapest items possible. You know, like I like the cheapest. That's how much I like to spend on certain clothes. So they do have that information. But $44 for like I'm eyeballing the Lush blouse, if I keep it, I can wear it until I don't want to wear it anymore and I can resell it and get some kind of value back for it because it's a good brand. Uh, Lush is sold at Nordstrom, I believe is where it's sold. Um, now I say that knowing that the other Lush blouses I have, I am still wearing because I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. They're comfortable. I love the graphic. They, they stand out. They make a statement. So, um, but one day maybe I will decide to resell them. So who knows? Okay, hang tight. I'm going to go try some of these items on and I'll let you know what I think and I want to hear what you think. Stay tuned. to slowly go down. So I would have to wear a belt with them, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I really like these jeans. I really like them. I didn't think I would. They fit perfect. They did a great job picking out jeans for me. Um, and these retail for 59 or they sell to me for $59. So I will probably be keeping those. Uh, it's good to have one pair of jeans you really like in the home. And the other item I'm keeping is this Lush blouse. Knew that was coming, right? <laughs> I kind of gave it away, but I loved this blouse. I love the way it fits. I love the thin uh, materials, breathable. I love the movement in it. And I like that it had that little cheetah design with that beautiful blue color. It's almost between a teal and a bluish gray. It's really neat. So I decided to keep those two items. This blouse was $44 or 40. Yeah, 44 by Lush. And then the jeans are 59. So it's going to cost me $99 for both items and then I have a $20 so it'll end up being $79. So um, those are the two items I'm keeping. The two sweaters were actually pretty thin which I liked. It was just like a knit top so I'm like okay I could get away with wearing that until June probably but to me there was just like nothing really special about them and I want to get away from bland boring clothing in my closet. I'm really trying to revamp it so I decided I could send those back and then um, the cardigan, I actually really like that. For a cardigan, it's really thin, soft. Um, I like the, the cut, the fit, but I just don't wear cardigans. And it would just sit in my closet, even though I like it. To work, I wear a blouse, a little bit of jewelry, and I go. Um, right now I'm wearing sweaters, but eventually that will stop and it'll just be a blouse. So I just don't wear a lot of cardigans. Um, and so I just decided to send that one back too. But I'm keeping the two things I really like these items. I always feel like they do such a great job um, keeping trendy items available and knowing what to send to people. So I will give the feedback to my stylist and her name is Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. Yay. Okay. On those jeans. So I now want to talk about comparing the goodie box from Thread Up to Stitch Fix. Now I know that one is mostly used items, although I did get a new tags item in my Thread Up box. Um, and then Stitch Fix is more higher end. And it's new attack, all new attacks. But to me, the difference was the stylist. And that makes all the world a difference. I say it all the time, customer service, guys. Customer service, so important. 
with the stylist from the goodie box, I felt like they just kind of said this, 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 that'll do, put in the box. I really don't feel like they read most of the information I put down. I think they just looked at the categories and that was it. And I took the time to write out all those comments to give details so they would understand I this is what I specifically do not like. This is what I want. I don't feel like they really listened or heard me or cared. I don't know what the difference was, but I'm giving them another chance, remember. So I'll be getting another goodie box. With Stitch Fix, I feel like they really listened to everything I said. And I'm even going to say, hey, next time would you send a few summer dresses, you know, or even some casual wear, um, more like lounge wear for around the house, <laughs> something like that, um, to kind of mix it up. Because I love, you know, that I have a blouse that I can wear to work or anywhere business casual, but I do want more casual items, leisure wear. So uh, we'll see what we end up with. I definitely, I think I've always loved Stitch Fix. <laughs> Um, very happy with them, happy that they're allowing me to send it back later if I want to. That's really cool. So, you know, I, I really did consider buying the whole box because it would only cost me $154. <laughs> I'm still, my wheels are still turning, but um, I'm not going to, I said I wouldn't do that. So I'm just going to keep the two items that I really must have and the rest will go back. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I'm going to give them both another chance. Obviously, Stitch Fix, I was very happy with this and happy to see that next box come. Um, I'll let y'all know when my next boxes come and I'll do another try on. And I would like to hear from you. What did you like from the box? What items would you have kept? Um, let me know. I'd love to hear it. And I will talk to you all again soon. Hope your week is wonderful. And I hope your resales are plentiful. Bye now.